we have finalist number nine, Shimamura Takenori from the University of Tokyo. The presentation title is Atomic Scale Chest X rays with Ultra Small Mirrors. Takenori, please start your presentation when you're ready. Think about last time you were sick with a bad cough. You went to the hospital, took some prescribed medicine, and understood that drugs were working as you looked and felt better. But you may have also experienced side effects from unexpected behaviors of some drug particles. Has it ever made you wonder how to suppress these side effects? Since uncontrolled particles are as small as molecules or atoms, we can't yet see or feel the causes for their misbehavior. To do this, we need technology that can see through thick cells and trace their particles. This is really challenging. The scale of this magnification is like finding a grain of rice from an airplane. But that's where my research comes in with a tool found in hospitals. My question is, could we see through atoms with chest x-rays? I believe one day we will. When we have chest x-rays, we see unclear monochrome images. As shown in the figures here, broad x-ray beams can't recognize structures on atomic scale. To unlock their potential, focusing is important. X-rays onto a small spot can trace like a probe, providing clearer images. For this purpose, I dedicated four years developing my novel x-ray focusing mirror. Let me tell you how it works and how I accomplished a world record. To sharpen the tip of an X-ray probe, I introduced my three patented features. First, I shortened the mirror from the meter to the size of one's fingernail. This allows the mirror to be placed closer to the specimen, easily aim, uh, making it easier to aim the X-rays at the specific spot. Second, I shaped the mirror at a steeper angle to pack the X-rays into this small spot. However, a trade-off exists between smooth angle, a steep angle, and smooth surface. My third patent can gradually feel atomic level dense on the mirror, producing smoother surface. By combining these three features, I established a world record in pilot studies, creating the sharpest X-ray probe that can utilize an entire range of less penetrated X-rays. Performing chest X-rays with this probe captured hundreds of atoms inside animal cells. I now aim to further apply my mirror to more penetrated X-rays to see individual atoms' behavior inside specimens. So the next time you visit the hospital because of a bad cough, remember my atomic scale chest X-rays. It captures drug particles and they start to behave unexpectedly. With my small mirror, let's see a world that nobody has seen before. Thank you. Thank you, Takenori. And Ms. Masui, could you please ask your questions to Takenori? Sure. Hi, Takenori-san. Hi. Thank you. Hi, thank you very much for introducing the new technology and a powerful presentation. So much. I'm very, I wondered, I have a few questions. Um, so by making the mirror smaller to the fingernail size, you you sh now it's the technology can see can show us the the more particles in the in a cell. Is that what your research? And I wondered, you addressed you first. You addressed the questions like a suppress the side effect, and then how does that technology suppress the side effect? Okay, so. In order to suppress um, side effects, it's important to capture the behavior of atoms. I mean, atoms with drug particles, like for example, whether they reach the target, like bacteria, or they, they um, go around in the cells, I mean, so of target particles. And uh, we cannot see that um, right now, but if I can implement my technology to this field, then um, it captures on life. Um, the behavior of the atoms inside animal cells. So um, if we understand the behavior of the atoms, then we can correct or improve the behavior of the atoms. So that's why I said we can suppress the misbehavior of the atoms of drug particles. Do I answer your no. question? 
Yes, now I understood. It refers to C, the particles. Thank you. Okay, time is up. Thank you very much for the powerful presentation. Thank you, Takenori and Ms. Masui.